Okay, so on the show today, we will be joined... Okay, uh, on the show today, we're going to be joined by a Nigerian music artist. Um, he's not such a stranger to the show. We have hosted him on the Praise O'Clock show before. Um, but he, uh, today, we have him joining us again. Uh, he has new material. We're going to talk about the new material and, you know, th- things in between as well. So, guys, let's welcome to the Praise O'Clock show, my man... Timo! Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Thank bro? You. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening in Nigeria. Good evening, Mr. T. Good evening, Miss Olufunke. I can see the name. So good evening, everyone. Yes. Great to have you it's join us. To be on the show again. Yes, yeah, it's always a pleasure. I remember, you know, the, the funny thing is, you know, despite how many interviews I've had in my life or in the past few years, I I can remember not so clearly, but I can remember our last uh, conversation um, on the show. You know, so it was quite an oh, interesting wow. one. So, interesting. <laughs> so it's good to have you have you with us again. I think that that interview is even available on our podcast. So, guys, in case you want to go check that out, please go, 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 go check it out. Okay. okay. So, first off, Timo, right? Let's talk about your name, right? Um, at first, I thought it was a two-word name, but I'm seeing that most times it's written together. The Timo. Yeah. Right. So can you yes. give, can you give some clarity? Maybe there's some some story about that that we are not aware of. Tell us what this name as one the Timo that's T H E T I M O as one word is. Okay. So uh, the Timo is um, truthfully said it is a brand. So the name is Timo, like you said. Timo. Timo is my name. That's the that's the that's the uh, mandate that I'm given. Okay. Your, your deemed name is Timo. However, uh, what, what, what transpired behind the scene was that uh, I started uploading my song on digital platforms with my name Timo. And then after a while, uh, I started having clashes at back end because there's a particular artist. Uh, uh, there are, I think there are even more than one artist who bears Timo, some, some German artist and all of that. Okay. So I started having my content clashing with theirs right. on Apple Music, on Spotify, and all of that. Of which, while I while I got the name Timo, while I got ordained as the name Timo, I had gone on Instagram by divine leading mm-hmm. to, to, to put my name as the Timo on Instagram. That was the first place I even changed the name. Because I remember when I got, I can remember the experience very briefly. I was in my office, University of Lagos, Nigeria, when I had that trance. And then I was told that, okay, so the name is no longer Tim Praise. It was Timo. And then I didn't even, I was so, it was so urgent that I, I didn't even tell my manager at the time. I, I, I just went all out and then I told everyone my name was Timo, no longer the Tim Praise because Tim Praise used to be the name I was bearing before ah, the transition. Okay. And so I went on Instagram and I don't know, somehow I just went about uh, the Timo and then wrote the Timo as my name. Instagram accepted it. It was in praise, so I changed in praise to the Timo, and that was there. But while going uh, uploading my stuff online, my music online, I wanted to stick to my name Timo. However, because I was having clashes at the black back end, where mm. my content I couldn't really track my content, you know, my stream count and all of that, so it was just clashing. And then I thought of okay, so my name is the Timo on Instagram, the Timo on Facebook, the Timo underscore on, on Twitter. Let me try the Timo. And then I, I tried the Timo, I had to email uh, my distribution company, it was Tunco at the time, that, okay, so I, I'm changing name to the Timo, can I have that across my name? And it was just done, and then I was able to now own that space. Oh, nice. Exclusive to myself. Oh, nice. The Timo. So the, the Timo became a brand because, yes, there was a challenge with sticking with my name, Timo. I think that's why most artists usually have two names. When you have, if it was Timo something, probably like we have... Um, uh, like a surname, I like with it. It. yeah, yeah. You, you know, mm-hmm. it's a surname attached to it. It makes it, uh, it makes it easy. It's quite difficult to have two persons bearing your name and your and surname. surname at the same time. I, I, at the same right, time, so right. but I do not have a surname attached to mine. It became a challenge, and then I got the Timo, and then the Timo was 
Uh, just an escape route for me. Oh, so great. that's the story great. behind it. Great, great, fantastic stuff. So once again, welcome the Timo uh, <laughs> to the show Thank today. You. Okay, Thank so you. let's jump right right into your, your 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 new ep you have a new ep out there uh it's a six yeah. track ep titled the prayer just like the timo the the, the prayer <laughs> the prayer so, two words the same two <laughs> words the same not one word <laughs> okay so l- let's talk about this now the conversation about prayer is one that um can never be overflogged right because it's it's something yeah, yeah. jesus has told us and there's a lot of conversations some totally wrong doctrines and some you know don't let me go into that but <laughs> there's been a lot of conversation about prayer mm. about prayer as as a means of communing uh communicating with god and now you have uh, yeah. a, an ep that is titled the prayer what what is the what is the inspiration around making a body of work just on the prayer? Okay, so um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take you a little back memory lane, so so that I could be explicit. So the prayer, the prayer, the prayer, uh, it's um, a body of work that um, equips the body of Christ on knowledge about the prayer. It's uh, it's a body of work that. Um, that empowers you to pray, a body of work that encourages you to pray. And then more importantly, it helps you to understand your place in prayer. Because a lot of persons do not understand their place in prayer. They, they just, people just, the particular in Africa, for instance, mm-hmm. we have a lot of issues and then those issues become what we pray about. We bring in a lot of our traditional religion, it superimposes it into Christianity, and then that influences our prayer life. Mm-hmm. So the wrong belief system came from there. So the prayer is a body of work that corrects some of those notions through music. That is that is the concept of the prayer. However, what what the philosophy, the actual philosophy behind it was that while I was to begin my ministry, it was while I was on service, 2014 precisely, I was in the city of Benin. All of these dates are they are the, the experiences are very fresh in my mind because they were they were they were they were experiences, they were encounters. So what the Lord told me was that so you've been busy with studying and all of that has been a distraction to the call you have upon you. So now that you are serving, know that as you are done, getting done with service, you have to take ministry a little more important than you used to take it before. Because I've been having invites since I was about 18 years old when invites are coming. So this period, he told me that my my music is gonna be like books where uh, it's going to have a title Mm -hmm. and then all of the chapters will be addressing a particular theme. So my projects usually will come where I have body of, uh, where I have from track one to track two to track three and all of that, addressing a particular theme, a particular aim. They all are working towards a, a certain goal. However, the title will now be something that encompasses the body of work. Like I had my album, my debut album 2020 was Sound of Gratitude. So all of the tracks, tracks 1 to 10, were addressing the place of gratitude, worship, Mm -hmm. and praise. So this time around, I have six tracks, all addressing matters surrounding prayer, how to pray. Uh, what you need to keep yourself with before you pray. When you pray, what disposition should you have when you're praying? What actually is prayer? What are the prayers you should pray? How do you confess into your possession? And and all of those um, areas that I particularly find lacking in Christendom, particularly in African Christianity. Mm. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we have, a, like you said, Eleron, belief system. Yeah. Belief system yeah. is very very shaky so the, the the body of work is to equip the, the this body of work is to equip the body of christ uh with uh, the the right approach that's prayer, that's basically. quite interesting you know because while you were Thank talking you. about this and and you mentioned uh the gratitude it just reminds it reminds me of the last project really <laughs> uh, like that was also a, a a body of work on with a theme of gratitude